Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Chris and Gio back in with you guys. So oh man, going live right now. So man, I hope y'all enjoy it. So real quick, so today we're talking about how to track your progress towards your goals, right? So if you were gonna go to the grocery store, would you just jump in your car and ride without checking a gas gauge to see if you have fuel in the tank? Probably not, right? <laughs> so it doesn't make sense for us to be trying to go after goals and achievements without being able to track our progress, right? So I like it because Jim Rohn has these nice little four gauges that he's like that you can use to kind of track yourself. Now, the only thing about it is that you kind of have to be honest with yourself, right? Because it doesn't work if you're like not truthful with yourself. So here are the four gauges. So it's much like the same way you got a gas gauge, you got fuel, and you got full, and they got empty, right? So the first gauge is complacency. And refusal right so he's asking you if your goals are strong do you refuse to accept anything less than your best do you refuse to accept anything less than what will be the best for your family and for your future needs will you do you refuse to accept any type of weakness any excuses any dishonesty or anything around you like that or are you kind of complacent you know and say man it's okay I'll deal with it right that level, that gauge is going to kind of determine how far and where you are in your goals, right? Two, are you on a maybe or are you on a decision, right? Are you the kind of person when you have big goals and you have things that you know you're going to, you need to do? Do you decide quickly? You make a decision quickly and you stick with it and you go after it? Or are you the kind of person that's maybe like, eh, you know, I have to think about it and then it takes you a long time to figure out what you're going to do. And then when you do make a decision, you like change up your decision. Right? So you're wishy-washy. You don't stick with it. Right? The third one is apathy and want. Right? He's like, he says, want is like your turbo end. And then apathy is kind of like you're like so, so cool and right? Right? Because want is like, how badly do you want what you want? How hungry are you? Right? Are you going to stay up long hours in the night because so you can finish up your classes because you're going to school while you got a full-time job, while you got kids? Are you going to stay up long hours and be on the phone with your business partners grinding because you know you got parents that you need to retire, that you that, that need you, that need you to support them, right? How badly do you want what you want? Or are you kind of like, eh, you know, it's going to work out. I don't really care. It don't really matter. It, it is what it is. You know, where are you at on that scale? And then the last one he has is fear and promise, Right? If you've already said, told yourself that this is what you're going to do, that you're going to lose weight, that you're going to get better in your finances, that your business is going to take off, that you're going to excel in your career, that you're going to have better relationships. If you've told yourself that this is what you're going to do and you've promised yourself, are you going to keep your promise? Of course you are. I hope you are. Because if you're really on this true end, your promise is that once you've told yourself you're going to do it, you're going to do it. There is no going back. You will win. You will make this happen. You will lose weight. You will make your finances better. You will get out of debt. You will kill these student loans. You will get, go far in your career. You will finish your schooling, right? There's no question about it. It's going to happen. It's will. You're not afraid. You're not going to let the fear get at you because you don't have time to be afraid. You're going to make it happen, period, right? So I love that. I love those are four gauges. So you kind of have to decide on yourself. Like it's a personal thing to decide whether or not where you're at and what's most important to you and where you are in those different gauges. Kind of help you to let you know how far you are along on your goals and your achievements, right? So I hope you found that it was valuable. I love that. Some Jim Rohn right there. If you did, find me on my website. Put your name and email address in and quizandchia.com. I'll be sure to send you my free bonus report on seven easy breezy ways that will force you to save more money every month, even if you don't like to. So Hope you guys loved it. Until next time, be blessed and stay hungry. If I can figure out how to get off this Facebook Live, where is it? Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Bye, everybody.